Hello everyone, and welcome back to Make Your Mind. This has been, actually, well this sculpture right here is actually one of, another one of the very highly requested Subnautica sculptures, and there was a lot more detail with this one than I realized, but it's finally done. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, viewers and subscribers alike, may I introduce to you the heavily requested character from Subnautica Below Zero, the all-famous Rock Puncher. <laughs> Look at this! There's a lot more detail in this character than I realized. A lot of red, a lot of deep red, something that I didn't know. This is probably, this was originally a concept art that was made for the first Subnautica and then was actually brought back by popular demand as a character for Below Zero. So now you can find these in Subnautica Below Zero, which that game comes out in just, in, in just over a month right now. I think it's a month and a week and maybe like a day or two-ish, but uh, it's coming out soon. But here, let me go ahead and... Oh, puncher here on his pedestal. There we go. So that way he can stand up. There we go. Look at him. Oh, that's so cool looking. Reminds me so much of a mantis shrimp with those punching arms. Because you got the uh, the smasher shrimps that sort of have the crazy colorations. And uh, those, if you don't know them, what a mantis shrimp is, you can just look up a, a, a smasher mantis shrimp or a clown mantis shrimp. And they're actually, they're very rainbow colored. And their punch is so fast and so powerful that their punch has the power of a 22 caliber bullet. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. It, it can literally crack a crab shell in one hit. It's quite impressive. And that's what I believe that uh, this character resembles the most. But let's talk a little bit about what the Rock Puncher is. The Rock Puncher has a bulky armored body that has six articulating feet and two arms at the front. The head shows four orange eyes it has a pair of mandibles directly underneath its body right over here. It actually has four mandibles under here. Here, let me pick you up real quick. Oops, sorry, the wax clay with the arm. There we go, yeah, you see that? I got the four mandibles right under there. There he is. <laughs> so cool, his arms are so heavy though, I gotta be careful with him. There we go, let me put you right back there. Let's see. A pair of animals directly underneath. Its body ends in a small, short, shrimp-like tail, which you can see here, which normally the tail kind of fades, but I put a little bit of my own sort of design to it with the lines, sort of, almost like a like a tribal-like design, but I, I like this more than just the sort of fade. I changed a little bit about the design, not about the creature itself, but more of the coloration, where I put more yellow on the legs down here, and as you can see, I put the yellow sort of contrasting coloration between the red stripes with the yellow and then the yellow stripes with the red on the head. So there's a little bit of a difference there. And it's, I mean, goodness sakes, it is a really cool design. Here, let me pull up this other picture real quick. Let's see, there we go. Attached to the arms are two large club-like extremities, which are these big suckers right here. Presumably used to deliver powerful strikes against hard objects. Well, I can imagine so. As the name implies, the Rock Puncher. Rock Puncher's underside is gray with a green shade, while its back and while its back is yellow with red patterns, as you can see here. Now, normally the yellow... Zoom in camera. There we go. The yellow kind of fades into the rest of the body, but I decided to actually have it almost taper and sort of it sits on each individual one of its back sort of uh, shell plates. So it's a little bit of a different design, like a different color change, but I think it actually pronounces itself a lot more and gives a little more of the yellow, which is something that I sort of added to it. It says here, rock punchers are slow moving, aggressive crustacean like creatures. They move along the seafloor until approached by the player. At such time, they will begin to follow the player and will even occasionally jump at the player if they swim too close. They can be distracted by rub grub, rock grubs, which are their main source of prey. 
That's actually interesting, because the Ruck Grub is, is the smallest creature in all of Subnautica. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't have my Ruck Grub sculpture anymore. Maybe I'll have to make another one one day. But, uh, the Ruck Grubs, man, those things are so... They're so difficult to find. Even though they glow, even though they glow green, they're very, very, they're very small, but they glow green. But they're still very, very hard to find because everything in Subnautica is bright colors. Rochers, uh, excuse me, rock punchers can be observed tapping the seafloor with their forelimbs, testing the ground for any potential rock grubs. If the rock puncher finds any, it will repeatedly punch the ground to underneath a rock covered in rock grubs. It will proceed to pick it up and feed off the rock. Now that's actually, I'm pretty sure that's actually, you can actually see that in the game where it actually beats the ground with its two limbs, it picks up a rock, and then it turns the rock and then slowly eats the individual rock grubs, and you eventually see them as they pop off uh, when it's turning the rock around, and then it drops the rock. I remember there was an animation for that, but I don't know if that actually made it into the full game. Uh, we'd have to look that up, I don't know. I'd have to look that up later. Maybe I'll, if I find a video of that, I will, uh, I'll leave it here, down in the description below. I'll find a video of it, and... Uh, It'll be interesting to see, to see if that actually, if that actually, that animation is still there. I'll have to find that out. See, the rock puncher will also toss those rocks aside, allowing the player to break the rock itself and gain resources such as titanium, copper, silver, and gold. So it actually becomes uh, a mineral ore that actually contains the, uh, the materials on the inside. Which that's, wow, that's cool. It's very similar, this is almost like a smaller version of the Sea Treader in a way. Despite its relatively small size in comparison to many predators, now it's much bigger than you are, but it's smaller compared to other predators like the Squid Shark and the Chelicerate. I mean, it's only a little bit smaller than the Squid Shark, but the Chelicerate would definitely be a predator for this. Let's see, despite its relative size in comparison to many predators, the Rock Puncher's phenomenal strength and tough exoskeleton protected from all mid-sized predators Leaving it vulnerable only to predators in the Leviathan class. There we go. So something like the Chelicerate, or if the rare occasion that a Shadow Leviathan was to venture out of the Crystal Caves, which I, as big as that thing is, I don't know how in the world a, 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 a Shadow Leviathan could actually come out of the Crystal Caves, because the opening is fairly big, but the Shadow Leviathan is just massive. I couldn't imagine seeing what that looks like. Oh yeah, look, this is just like I was talking about. It says it here on the wiki. The Rock Puncher is heavily inspired by crustaceans in the order of Stomapoda, or also known as the Mantis Shrimp. Some members of its group possess club-like forelimbs that are used to deliver extremely powerful blows to their prey. All types are noted for their incredible acceleration of their forelimb strikes, which can exceed 10,000 G. <laughs> That's crazy! and are delivered so fast they can generate cavitation bubbles and further damage their prey. Now they also, another funny thing, mantis shrimps can actually punch so fast that they, or their cavitation bubbles actually both produce heat and light. So it literally, reality can not like, a, like a, there's a very funny Z Frank video about mantis shrimps. I'll leave a link down to that down in the description if you want to see that. It talks about how mantis shrimp punches are so, they're so incredible that reality just can't handle it. <laughs> I just find that so that's so cool, it's so fascinating. Where I live, we actually have mantis shrimps that live out here uh, past the beach. Although they're not the smasher kind, they're the spear kind. They have sort of like praying mantis like uh, like uh, like claws, but they're upside down, and they sort of spring out and up. So they're really they're really fascinating, but they are so fast and they'll chase you away. They really will. They're very territorial. They'll chase away sharks. They'll chase away octopus. They'll chase away. Heck, even stingrays, and stingrays are probably the main source of uh, predator for the mantis shrimp, for sure. Well, it's funny the first time when you actually see one of these, the rock punchers anyway, when you actually see them jump. Because they jump and then they just kind of slowly float to the bottom. And here, let's get back to the sculpture, shall we? I just, man, this thing is just so cool looking. I love that coloration. Of course, it's a little bit of a deviation from the original rock puncher. But man, this is just... Like I said, this one was a heavily requested one for the channel. And uh, I sincerely hope that all of you guys enjoy this. I've got another one coming up. Uh, it's going to be... I've already said it before. The Bone Shark is going to be the next one coming up. 
I've actually had I had a lot of great feedback when it came to the uh, the reef back Leviathan. So thank you all for watching the reef back video. That one was a fun one to make. And uh, and with that, that concludes the video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to leave a like down below. Leave a comment if you have a personal request. Like I said, I will get to these as quickly as I can, but I will add it to the list. I currently have about 35 or so requests uh, to get a hold of, so I will get to them as quickly as I can. And with that, I do have some big things coming up in the future. I'm getting my setup ready uh, for live streams, and I'm also going to be getting things ready to start an online store. So if you guys are interested in that, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And, uh, and do expect some of the videos to slow down over the next two weeks or so. Just so that I can get things set up and prepared. Um, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be posting videos, you know, uh, Tuesdays, and then a preview Wednesday, Thursday, and then the preview Saturday. Or, the, excuse me, the premiere Saturdays. But, uh, th there will be less videos than normal. And, uh, and that's only gonna be for about two weeks or so. So, just bear with me. The setup is coming. I actually am using a brand new camera armature. I'm, I'm getting a dual monitor set up. And I have a microphone with a pop filter coming so that I can get better audio. And I got a lot of good things coming. So with that, that concludes my video of the Rock Puncher. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I will see all of you on the next Subnautica-based sculpture showcase. <laughs>